All right, so today we are on a small little local lake, local to the Northern Swing Tournaments. We have been eliminated from all the Elite Series tournaments for the rest of the year. We're done. That's uh, nine tournaments, and we're gonna fall just short of the Classic. So to get over that, we out here trying to catch largemouth bass and have fun. So hopefully we get to swing on a few today. We're gonna try to break down a really small body of water in a short amount of time. So we'll see. I've uh, got the ramp, said that the smallmouth fishing ain't too good right now, but the largemouth fishing is. So rigged up a couple of flipping jigs, the untamed tackle breacher, and we got a frog and we're gonna cover some water and see if we can't run into a little, little pod of them somewhere in some of this grass. So far, seen four or five types of grass. So we're gonna kind of sample all that and then break this sucker down and hopefully find them. So a lot of current coming through here. There's a dam below us that uh, had a lot of current coming over it whenever we was driving by. So there'll be some fishing here. There'll be some good ones too. We just gotta find them and catch them. So the first place that we really move to on this small body of water, there's one very pronounced bay off of it. And up here, if you're trying to catch these northern largemouth, a lot of times they like to get in the grass, especially mid-depth, like three, four, two really to like six foot, they really like to get in the grass. So figured out here in front of this bay, that'd be grass mixed. And then also there's a very pronounced creek that comes in. We're coming up on the culvert now and we've had a lot of rain lately, so there's current coming out of it actually, which I didn't know if that was gonna be the case or not, but it is the case. So kind of the best of everything right here with the most obvious bay and there's current and culverts and all that. So a little bit of everything going on right here. This should be one of the best places on the lake in my opinion. We'll just see if that turns into, into fish catches. Pick up a topwater and work it over that little running water. Gosh, dang. That's a good one. Pretty large mouth. These northern strain large mouth, they get built good, but you can see how this one has a big mouth. For a northern strain, that's a mouth of like a five pounder. And he's obviously not a five pounder. So place is probably 
overpopulated a little bit because or else this is just a really old male or something. But he's got a big mouth to be a three pounder. Oh, breacher bass. That's fun bite, dude. I'm calling it. We're gonna catch four before we get to that boat dock. Unless we get ran over by a jet ski, then we won't. Four steep based on how many bites we've had in it. Yeah. Pretty steep. It's pretty high. Should be one of the best places on the lake right here. Is it cheating if I just turn around and go all the way around the lake the other way to get to the boat dock? <laughs> turn around and just go all the way around to get to that boat dock. <laughs> then we might catch four. Rules were specified, but they weren't specified, they were just implied. I take it back. I thought we were about to smash them right here in this little mat of stuff. Boy, he freaking smashed it when he got underneath that dock. Look how pretty he got them black spots on him. It's a pretty one. That's the setup so far. Three quarter ounce untamed tackle breacher, black and blue, with a black blue green pumpkin cleanup crawl we dodge balling right now dodging dodging jigs and catching bass big magnum perch dude wow <laughs> he pretty too oh he thin me Oh, Breacher catches it all. <laughs> I can't hold him. He's harder to hold than a small mouth. His mouth's so little, my thumb won't go in it. Look at that thing. Look how pretty he is with his orange fins. But he got me. I'm bleeding. He got a dagger on his gill plate right there. Suckers. Which I knew they had them, but I was still grabbing them like that anyways because I'm a dummy. Look at that thing. I've caught a few bigger than that, but that's a pretty good one. I don't ever fish for them. Caught him on a dang flipping jig. Look how pretty they are. Oh, tiger stripes. Well, I didn't expect that to come out. I thought it was going to be a same length largemouth. Got me. I got him, but he got me back. This bay has a lot more grass than that other one. But a lot of it's slimed over and I'm not a, not a big fan of the slimy grass.
I got another perch or something. It's a bass. Rock bass. <laughs> Old Lake's got it all. Small little local lakes known for their diversity. That's a that's a trash fish uh, clump of pads. That's the same clump I caught the perch out of. That's crazy. Same pads. Same pads. Same pads. I might have to take back what I said about it being overpopulated. I didn't give him no time. Sucker thumped it and I went after him. Probably get bit off by a pike instantly. Got one of them baby smallies. I was trolling so fast, I couldn't hardly really catch up to him. I really picked it up for that rock bank up there. He pretty, but he is little. Your little, what do you got, a pike? Yeah. A little baby pike. What's that, five yep. God's a pike. God dang. I ain't got no more chatterbaits. How big was it? I mean, three foot long. What is that? Smally. Oh my goodness. That was bad. Yeah, all over him. Got up here. Going back to my roots a little bit. Flipping a little jig on some current break wood. That's probably my favorite way to catch a bass. In a tournament scenario. Now, I like throwing a frog up there a lot, but in a tournament scenario, I love flipping. Let's go over where we started.
All right, so not exactly as good as I wanted to be thinking that it was a small lake close to St. Lawrence River that probably didn't get any pressure because most people go fishing over there. But uh, I caught three or four nice ones, lost one nice one, but uh, small lake. I think we trolled around just about the whole thing except for the actual dam part of it. But it was fun. It's cool to set the hook on a jig with heavy braid, seven foot six flipping rod. That's fun. Haven't done that in a while since, uh, I guess practice on Champlain, but uh, like 10 days in a row of spinning rods and felt good to set the hook with braid, but uh, still fun. You know, it's always cool to go to a new place and you never know exactly how it's gonna be. So definitely was fun, but uh, a little bit unsatisfied. Might need to go somewhere a little bit better in between now and Saginaw Bay. So we got a week, we'll have some fun the next week.